Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome to this lovely Tuesday. Was it September 10th? How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, good, good. Chuck, Lawrence, Michael, everybody. All right, good. So far, having a pretty good day so far, huh? Hopefully, everybody uh, got that last early morning chat. Early bird gets the worm on Fran. That thing is just doing phenomenal. Hold on, let me just bring it up. There we go. All right, so we'll talk a little bit about Fran. Fran was actually the big winner. I know yeah, you could say that again, Phil. Uh, morning, all uh, cashiers. Uh, listen, I, I personally think a lot of you guys could start getting on the plane and get back here for the soiree that we're having here in New York and get ready for on-site. But, um, you know, but, but this is basically – you should be done already. I mean, listen, everyone always asks, you know, is this a full-time job? Listen, there were three, three stocks that we found this morning. I'm going to talk about them. It was Fran, there was MNK, and there was a CANF. We're going to check them out. And um, uh, two of them flattened out. This one was basically it. So you cut your dogs and you run with your winners. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about uh, some big moves. Uh, first of all, let's start off what happened on uh, yesterday. We had a couple of stocks that moved pretty good. By the way, I know a lot of you guys made a lot of money. I'm going to do a couple of loud shout outs. I'm just, you know what? It's like it's like going tuna fishing, right? You're a fisher. You go out in the ocean, and you, you watch. Uh, I don't know, like the show. I don't know if you guys ever watch Wicked Tuna. And it's like you see, like man, these guys are hitting all day long, hitting long. Let me tell you, it's not that easy. They don't hit. They go out there and strike out more than they uh, than they hit. And you know what? Training the stock market's exactly the same way. You got to put in your time. You got to be at the right place, the right time. And you know what? This morning was what it was all about. But I'm just a little disappointed because everyone should have been in this position at seven, at seven, not buying it later than that because that's when we really technically found it was at um, at eight o'clock this morning when we opened up the room. And you can see that right from that chart. But anyway, we're going to come back to that. Uh, first of all, there was a couple of stocks that did move. On Monday, oh, typed in the wrong window. There we go. Work. So um, there were a few stocks that did move uh, yesterday that did okay. Hold on. Let me fix my chart here so you can see a little bit more. So out of all the stocks, I thought that was probably the best out of all of them was probably the work stock. Uh, W-O-R-K. You could see the stock just went public not too long ago. The stock just got destroyed. Um you know, once it broke, it, you know, it was it was a nice short going into the morning. And then in the middle of the day, you could see right around 11 o'clock, it just took another dive from 26 down to 24. I do want to make a tip of the day. And I want to kind of like stress this very important because, you know, here at Cybertrain University, you know, we do a lot of coaching and, you know, with the classes and all that. I'm actually going to stress it a lot when we do our phase four, our onsite. But, you know, everybody's trying to hit home runs. OK, and I'm, I'm just telling you right now for. Every home run you hit, you're going to strike out more. You're better off, okay, taking a dollar winner in Fran than trying to make $3 in Fran. Even though you could have made three, it's not worth it because for every time that that happens, you'll strike out more than, than anything else. Um, I, I'll, I'll give you an example. It happened to me yesterday. The TLRY, I told you this yesterday. I sold it, okay. TLRY had a really big pop. OK, bought it at a good price, thought it was going to break out, hit a major resistance levels right here around thirty four fifty right around there. Had a really nice profit, thought it was going to break out with a, with a blink of my eye. Boom, the thing just dropped like a tank. So from having a nice profit, I end up breaking even on that trade. So the reason why I'm sharing that with you, because I do lose money, too. OK, don't 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 think we're all just all rainbows and puppy dogs. All right. And, you know, everybody thinks like, well, nobody really talks about losing money. Of course we lose money. That's how we become good traders. You lose, okay? You lose. Losing is a good thing because if you know why you lost, you're not going to do it again, all right? So just keep an eye on that. And you learn from those mistakes. You know how you learn from those mistakes, those dumb mistakes? You go out there and you do your journals that we trained you how to do it, and you remind yourself. And even you might even take like a nice little legal pad, and you want to write it down like, you know, the next page that you write your stocks like, do do not do this again. Do not do this again. Sometimes, you know, if, you, if you're if a little stubborn, a little hard-headed, you know, uh, you might have to do whatever you can to remind you over and over again. But, you know, maybe get something, you know, goofy to kind of remind you. But you got to be very, very disciplined when it comes to trading. It's better off 
scalping and taking the small profits than going with the big profits. All right, so let's get to the Fran trade because I got a lot of people I want to do some shout outs because some of you guys did really well this morning. Uh, first of all, I want to give a really big shout out uh, to my buddy Grant over there. Grant made 95 cents so far already. It's not even a market open. Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Grant. 95 cents you already made on Fran. Grant, you know what? You should be quitting right now and just go go home and enjoy yourself in Ohio. All right. Uh, who else we did pretty well? Neil made 40 se 42 cents. Already took a profit. Way to go, Neil. Phil made 55 cents in Fran. That's what it's all about. So, and I know all of you guys bought at all different pri uh, prices, so that's good. I'm just glad to see you guys are, 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 are plugging away. And, you know, I see some of you here. You're here so strict. You're so loyal. You're here every morning. It's just nice to know that you guys finally hit it a little big. All right, so anyway, we know Fran's on the watch list, okay? Now, listen, I'm telling you right now, Fran... Can this stock go back to $5? Absolutely. Can it go to 211? Possible. But at the end of the day, look at your level fours, look at your level three that we train you, and you could see the orders where they are. But if you made your money, it's okay. You can go home now. All right? You don't have to stay here. You don't have to get cocky and greedy. You made your money. Grant, 1,000 shares. Making 95 cents. That's $950. Where in the hell is you going to make $950 working 30 minutes? All right. Where are you going to make that? All right. That's over a quarter of a million dollars a year. You got to be consistent. So don't try to be cocky. Don't try to be greedy. Don't try to be here all day. Go out there and enjoy yourself. All right. So anyway, but for some of you logged in late, you're still like, oh, did I miss the right? You know what? That's okay. The market still didn't open up yet. You still got plenty of trading going on. So you got the Fran trade that's going on there. The one I was a little disappointed was the MNK. I jumped in that one too. It didn't really go anywhere. It's kind of flat right here. I, you know, I thought it was going to pop. What, what attracted me about this MNK, it was a $26 stock in April. It took a huge dive one of the first days up. So maybe this one might pop at the end. Um, this could be your next wave. Didn't make, really make a run yet, but we can keep an eye on MNK. The other one, too, that I had on the morning watch list, C-A-N-F. Okay, so this one also, um, it loads up. This one also, major, major hit. Remember, I love, I drool, okay? Uh, Neil made 2500 on Fran so far. Fran, let's give him a round of applause. Actually, you know what? You should get a cash register for that one. Good job. That's what I want to hear. Isn't that so – isn't it, it – it almost feels like play money too. Listen, that's a lot of money. That is, that is a ridiculous amount of money, short period of time, Neil. So I would remember, take the money and run. Don't even consider trying to like double down, triple down. Try not to hit home runs. Remember what your daily goal is? Remember, those big winners – are going to pay for those losing days. You go into losing trading. So if your goal is to be what we teach you to be a thousand dollar day trader, you just got fifteen hundred to make up for a losing day uh, if that if ever happens. So just take your money and run. So anyway, this is another one that's making a big move. You know I'm a big bottom fisher. The stock took a huge hit. It's down here at the lows. Each one of these stocks, Fran, MNK, and CANF, looked exactly the same. All right, another one that came up on the watch list is the OBE. You can keep an uh, eye on that one, too. This one is gapping up a little nicely, too. It's got great orders. It's got some decent volume, 44,000 shares of 24%. That one's doing pretty good. SDRL, another one here that's gapped up a little nicely, a little cheapy right here, up 12%. Great orders there. You can see it right here on the right-hand side, everything you're looking for. Now, the big news you're probably hearing about is a lot of the car stocks are getting crushed, all right? So you know we're not a fan of these, but Ford's taking a very big uh, little bit of a hit here. You can see Ford is down. If it loads up, waiting for data. Okay, it's down 4%, 600,000 shares, breaking lower lows. Ferrari, which is a symbol race, taking a big hit too, had a really big decline. Uh, you know, Ferrari looks like it could be a buy soon. It's testing some support levels. If it does break this support levels, it can go down. Now, you know, why in the hell would we trade $150, $160 stock, you know, $154? Fran is such a better, less risky more reward stock and that's the difference between traders and amateurs all right so listen you're hearing people talking about it you know we're not trading it you remember what you were trained for you train 
to make a day's pay. So focus on that. So those are the stocks on our watch list. Listen, if you logged in late, you know, you think you missed the rodeo because the market opens up 15 minutes from now, that's okay. You still got all day. Believe me, you always find some new ones that will open up. So if we do see them, we'll go out there and share. In the meantime, uh, I know some of you guys are logged in uh, from the hotel, you know, for, for the on-site and everyone else. But listen, I'll see you back. I'll see you back at 2:30 uh, for the afternoon meeting, and then I'll see everybody, uh, whoever's going to be here for the soiree, and then we'll get ready to live trade. We'll broadcast live uh, here at the uh, at the hotel for the phase four, and we'll do the morning meeting there too. Okay, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe, and remember, if you made money, take the money and run. All right. Good luck. Enjoy it. Go spend it. Go buy you. Go buy your spouse something nice. Bye bye.